Hello, everybody, and welcome to the hardest reading challenge you'll ever do, July Results. Um, several of you filled out my little uh, questionnaire about what you've been reading. Not everybody in it. Uh, we now officially have 545 people participating in Herkyed, but not everybody filled it out. I think about 25% uh, of you did fill out the results for your July reporting. Um, so it's skewed that way. It's not all 545 of you that have done so, but a good portion of you did. So I thought, let's take a look at the results. Really had to get some water right now, Paul. Yep. Very thirsty boy. So anyway, July, let us begin. We read collectively over 1,300 books. Oh my God. 1,300 books. And that's just the quarter. So if, if we had, you know, over 500 people doing it, that's like 25%, multiply that by four, you know, and that might be the actual average of how many people or the actual total of how many books we've all read in this challenge already. Uh, the most beloved book. So I asked you guys, what was your favorite you've read so far? Uh, these four, we've got The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst, Bury Your Gaze by Chuck Tingle, The God of the Woods by Liz Moore, and The Kaiju Preservation Society by John Scalzi. Um, I also loved The Spell Shop. I, was it my absolute favorite that I've read? In July, I think it's between that and The Lost Story for what I read for July. I'm not sure who I love more, but it's definitely up there. I didn't get to bury your gaze. I wanted to, and I have read Kaiju Preservation Society, uh, but I read that last year and I absolutely love it. So don't know about God of the Woods. That's not really a book for me, not my genre, at least. So onward, the most completed white prompts. So these are uh, the people who've done all these white prompts, you know, who, which ones have we been completing the most? In third place, the webcomic. 26 of you have already completed the webcomic challenge. In second place, 35 of you have done the 24 hour three books challenge. Well done, including myself. And in first place, just kidding, they tied first and second, was the 500 pages in a day challenge. Everybody just like saw what they thought was going to be the hardest challenge for them and was like, we're doing this now. We are not wasting time on this. So that is what y'all did for the most completed purple prompts. Now, purple prompts were not as completed yet. Obviously, it's only book one, but three of you did in fact complete the genre challenge. Well done. I do have one person who reported that they did everything, but I think they mistook what the question was because they only read 10 books. And to complete that challenge, you have to read a lot more books to complete all of the purple prompts. So I didn't include that. So that person who said you completed everything, contact me and explain yourself. <laughs> For the most popular July releases, what was the July release everyone was reading? Four of you and four more of you read The Night Ends With Fire by KX Song and The Love of My Afterlife by Kirsty Greenwood. Uh, that was it. tied for third place. In second place, we had The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst and Barrier Gaze by Chuck Tingle. Seven and seven. But in first place, we have the God of the Woods by Liz Moore. I was not surprised by this, by how much talking there was about the book in the Discord. So eight of you chose to read that book. Go find your buddies. For August releases, these are what's most recommended right now, what everyone's planning to read. So if you haven't already decided your August release, this is what everyone else is apparently reading. Uh, Tide. For third place, we have The Dead Cat Tail Assassins. Fun fact, I've already read this book because I had an ARC copy of it. It's a short one and very good. Apprentice to the Villain by Hannah Nicole Mayer, uh, which is the sequel. Second one? Is it book two? Book two to Assistant to the Villain, which I have not read yet. And Hera by Jennifer Saint, which I do plan on reading. It might. It's not my. I've already done my August. What am I talking about? Uh, in second place, we have A Sorceress Comes to Call. Ten people are planning to read this. I have already read this and completed for my August release. And it was fantastic. If you want a super dark Goose Girl retelling, there you go. And of course, the most anticipated August release for everybody is The Pairing by Casey McQuiston, which I have also read. 
I'll be talking about my thoughts on that later. <laughs> What was voted the most difficult challenge? This is just overall, what do you think is going to be the most difficult challenge? Spiffbo is in third place. Nine of you thought that the finding the Spiffbo non-finalist was going to be the most difficult. Uh, oops, and then I just double-clicked it. Whoops, oh well, you now you know. 500 pages, Blah! click off. <laughs> 500 pages, 22 of you said it was going to be the hardest, and then the new releases challenge. 27 of you said the new releases challenge was going to be the most difficult. Which, fair. Voted the easiest challenge. Fun fun stuff on here. The indie author. Getting and buying directly from an indie author. Six of you said, that's going to be easy for me. Well done. Then the webcomic. 18 of you said that would probably be the easiest. I agree. It probably will be. And then the genre challenge. Surprisingly, the purple prompt. Uh, with 19 of you saying that this will be the easiest challenge. Well done. Uh, the most read summer read. So if you're still looking for your summer read for the seasons challenge, here's what other people have read. We've got Beach Read and The God of the Woods by Liz Moore. Both apparently are set in summer. Sorry, I don't know why my little little guy keeps popping up here. We're all we're we're 30 out of 51 slides. <laughs> uh, so those are tied for second place and in first place. We have Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. I have not read this. I read Beach Read, and I do agree. It's a good summer read. It's a nice one. Not my favorite Emily Henry, but it's up there. I'm a book lover's girl. That's my favorite Emily Henry so far. All right. Oh, we've got more. Sorry. I, I keep double clicking on accident. My bad. So these are some more summer reads that were recommended just in case anybody needed some. Uh, we have A Curse of Blood and Wolves, A Novel Summer, A Room with a View if you want a classic, uh, Book Lovers, which I already said is one of my favorite, Camp by L.S.C. Rosen, I own and have not read yet, Camp Quilt Bag, looks very cute, uh, Ray Bradbury's Dandelion Wine, Joan Aiken's Died on a Rainy Sunday, Don't Breathe a Word by Jennifer McMahon, uh, Stephen King's Duma Key, we have Every Time I Go on Vacation, Someone Dies. Everyone on this train is a suspect. Happy Place by Emily Henry. Emily Henry, just in general, I guess a summer author, which I've also read this one. Not my favorite. I think it's my third favorite. Heartstopper. <laughs> you can always read Heartstopper. Book three. Volume three is the summer one. Home Before Dark by Rayleigh Sager. Into the Waters by Paula Hawkins. It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. Uh, La Arte, Le Sieste, which was a... French translation someone wrote was a French translation of Chinese poems, I believe. I could not find an English translation. So if you speak French, here you go. Uh, Liar's Beach by Katie Catugno. Love and Olives by Jenna Evans Welch, which I believe is the second one. Love and Gelato was the first one. I don't know if that's also a summer read, but I do own it. And it is a bomb book. We have Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid, Middle of the Night by Riley Sager, One Crazy Summer by Rita Williams Garcia, uh, Slugs by Sean Hudson, uh, Something Wilder by Christina Lauren, Summertime Render, uh, Volume 1 and 7 were both recommended here, uh, The Cybernetic Tea Shop by Meredith Katz, The Key to You and Me by J. Robin Brown, The Mysterious Affair at Styles by Agatha Christie, The Natural World of Winnie the Pooh, uh, The Prospects by Katie Hoffman, uh, the Secret Seaside Escape by Heidi Swain. Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. This One Summer by Jillian Tamaki and Mariko Tamaki. We have This Summer Will Be Different by Carly Fortune. Mary Stewart, Thunder on the Right. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. The <laughs> Wet Hot Allosaurus Summer by Lola Faust. You bet your bottom dollar I'm putting that on my list. <laughs> Wish You Weren't Here by Aaron Baldwin. And finally, While Justice Sleeps by Stacey Abrams, July 1914, uh, Sean McMeekin, uh, McMeekin, McMeekin, sorry, When the Storm Comes by Karina Schnell, The Rule Book by Sarah Adams, and Color Scheme by Nagayo Marsh. Beautiful. The most wrecked booktuber. There was a ton of booktubers and author tubers re uh, recommended, by the way. But this... Two, sorry, I forgot if it was one or two. Two of them were the most recommended. Leandria, Leandria, Leandra, the TBR Zero, and Library Unbounded were highly recommended. Everybody go check them out. And for the most recommended author, author tuber was me, but I didn't want to put me in it. But in next place, it was Willow Talks Books. Highly recommend. I just went and subscribed to them. I didn't know about them. And I think they're a really cool person. And I would like to be friends. <laughs> I have, indeed. I, well, by the time this video goes up, hopefully, I might be a bit delayed time-wise because things have been crazy here. I will have an entire list, a little spreadsheet, with everybody's channels 
on it so y'all can just go on a follow party and we can just follow everybody all these booktubers and author tubers and just give them some love go show them some love comment on some of their videos tell them that they're doing awesome you know because a lot of the booktubers you know they're little tiny baby booktubers like myself and can always use more subscribers and more love in the world there you go all right as for my progress in her kid i had you guys guess how many prompts or how many pro yeah prompts did i complete already 27 of you guessed correctly on how many i've done and that answer was three i've only completed three squares what were they though 500 pages in a day several of you guessed correctly the three books in 24 hours several of you guessed correctly the next one no one guessed not a single one of you guessed what it was and that's because I didn't post about it, but I posted about these two. The third prompt I have already completed is the protagonists. I have completed three books with protagonists of, with names of people I know. Well done, me. <laughs> As for the question about Create-a-thon, fun facts. 68.8% of you didn't know what it was, but were intrigued. 10.2% of you were on the fence. 6.3% of you already know what it is and are already in. And 14.8% of you are like, no. No, thank you. Thank you. Next. So there you have it. More info coming this Friday about Create-a-thon. And that's it. Bye. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We will be doing more uh, check-ins throughout the year. We'll probably do another one almost probably every month. Uh, so keep an eye out for those Google Forms coming out to you so we can keep up our stats because you know me i love some stats i hope you're all having a very happy herked and doing great and uh yeah get back to reading what are you doing watching this video go away bye